tonight's dinner were these cheesy beef and potato tacos. These were really good, they're not too hard to make, and it's a good way to stretch out a pound of ground beef and change up taco night. So let's taco about how to make them. Get it? To start, you're just going to peel and cube up four or five rest of potatoes. These slippery things ended up being my Tuesday night nemesis, but we made it through. Once those are all cubed up, they're going to go into a big bowl with some olive oil drizzled over the top, salt, pepper, garlic, and paprika. It doesn't matter how old I get, I will never not love shaking stuff in a bowl like this. These are going to cook in the air fryer at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes while we cook the beef. For that one pound of ground beef, it's going to go into a hot skillet with a diced onion and the seasonings I have listed below. Then once that beef's cooked, we're just going to lower the heat and throw in a big tablespoon of minced garlic and stir it all together. I love fresh pico with my tacos, so I've got some diced tomatoes, onions, jalapenos, and cilantro that I hit with a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic, and lime juice. If this part seems like way too much work and you're about to piece out, the pre-made stuff from Sam's Club's not too bad either. Once that 20 minute timer goes off, those crispy potatoes are going to get up close and personal with the taco meat and that means it's almost time to eat. To make the tacos, I just melt a little bit of butter and oil in a skillet over medium high heat and throw in some white corn tortillas and top each one of those with some Monterey Jack cheese. And each one of those is going to get a scoop of that beef and potato filling before you fold them over and let them cook on both sides till they're nice and golden brown. If you like easy dinners like this and don't want to have to scroll back to find recipes, tonight's dinner is as my cookbook and it's now available for pre-orders.